see this this right here is exactly what not to do in event of an earthquake or any natural disaster as a matter of fact these people clearly need to be educated and informed about the steps necessary to ensure their survival when a disaster like this occurs but the million dollar question still remains how does one become educated and who are the people necessary to provide that education They may look like ordinary people, but together with their unique talents, skills, and abilities, these people help to maintain people's safety and prevent the loss of life. They monitor the earthquake to see whether or not it becomes a large threat to loss of life. They do this by having people in the office constantly 24-7 on certain shifts, monitoring data transmitted by seismometers all over the Caribbean via satellites located all around the Caribbean. They send these signals to the old building where these, where these analog signals are transported in trans, into digital signals by which these people read on their computers. And they detect changes in them as the slightest change in pattern could mean an earthquake is coming. They research also to better understand the hazards and determine how to prevent destruction and loss of life. Different steps can be taken according to the country's situation and according to the disaster that occurs in that country. In order to accurately give people the certain and correct amount of steps that they should take, most scientists like Dr. Joseph enter the field in order to perform studies to the best of their capabilities to fully understand the situation in order not to give the people wrong advice. Lastly, they also educate the public to ensure they know the proper safety precautions to take before, during, and after hazards. They do this by having people go to the schools, and it all starts from the youths. Once they know, they can pass on this information to generations, and therefore these people will know the steps to take. They go all to areas all over Trinidad, as a matter of fact, all over the Caribbean. So therefore, each and every person around the world will know exactly what to do in event of these disasters. Wow, what a difference. These people clearly seem to know what to do during a disaster and what they are doing. And this knowledge was all given to them by the seismic league. Just think about if they weren't educating people all over the Caribbean, how many more lives would be lost due to lack of knowledge.